morning everyone. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. So today is our 14th day of our book series and purpose driven life. So, kumusta naman ang ating spiritual journey with the Lord sa araw na to for the whole week. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay na-bless sa mga previous uh, book series natin uh, tungkol doon sa kung paano natin malaman yung layunin at kalauban ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. And today, as we continue to study the Word of God through the book of uh, Pastor Rick Warren, I do believe by faith na lahat po tayo ay ready na, uh, masaya at may kagalakan sa ating puso despite yung mga circumstances, problema, challenges na nangyayari sa ating buhay. Patuloy tayo magtiwala sa ating Panginoon at patuloy natin i-focus ang ating puso at isipan sa araw na to na uh, we will live by faith and not by sight. So, bago tayo mag let us pray. Father God in heaven, I bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Truly really indeed, that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Sa araw na to ang madalangin ko na patuloy na pagharian mo ang aming buhay habang kami ay nagpapakumbaba, humihingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming kasalanan sa isip, salita at salawa. Salamat po Ama sa paglinis mo na sa amin. Salamat sa kapatawaran at salamat sa biyaya mo at pag-ibig mo na patuloy na dumadali sa aming mga buhay. Tinatas ko po ang aking mga kapatid at lahat ng makikinig sa devotion na to na patuloy mong buksan ang kanilang mga puso't isipan para maunawaan nila, maintindihan kung ano man yung gusto mong ipahiwatig sa kanilang mga buhay. Dahil alam po namin ama, ng yung mga salita ay nagbibigay pag-asa, buhay at direksyon sa amin uh, pang araw-araw na pamumuhay dito sa mundong ibabaw. Sa iyo lamang ama, ibibigay ang lahat ng papuri, pagsamba, pagluwalhati at pasasalamat sa matamis na pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen and Amen. So, the title of our message for today is When God Seems Distant. Dumating ba sa punto ng buhay nyo na akala nyo nag-isa na kayo, wala na kayong kakampi, lahat nangyayari na sa'yo na parang ang feeling mo lang ay pinabayaan ka ng Diyos. Pero the truth is, uh, hindi, hindi natin aware, hindi tayo aware na uh, isa sa karakter ni God ay omnipresent. Ibig sabihin, He is always present in our lives. So, sabi nga, God is real no matter how you feel. So, ano man po yung nararamdaman mo, hindi yun ang importante. Ang importante ay malaman natin na isa sa karakter ni God ay uh, ang kanyang banal na presensya ay nasa atin araw-araw. Ang kinakailangan lang natin is, do we really seek God first in our lives at patuloy ba tayo nagtitiwala at naniniwala at nananampalataya na siya ay Diyos na buhay, mapakapangyarihan at tunay na, na mapagmahal. So, ang text to natin ay matatagpuan sa Isaiah chapter 8, verse 17, sinabi, sinabi doon sa <clears throat> kanya mga salita, The Lord has hidden Himself from His people, but I trust Him and place my hope in Him. So, saan nakatoon? Saan nakaangkla yung uh, pag-asa mo, kapatid? Saan nakaangkla ang iyong pagtitiwala? Naka, nakaangkla ba sa mga makamundong bagay? Or nakaangkla ba talaga yung pagtitiwala mo at pag-asa mo sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo lamang? So, meron isang kwento na siguro naririnig nyo ng kwento ito na ito, pero uh, ikukwento ko ulit para sa ngayon kung sino man yung hindi pa nak- nakaalam ay magkaroon din sila ng uh, kumbaga uh, relations, kumbaga uh, isang related na story which is related sa ating pag-aaral ngayon so, mayroong isang pamilya na uh, kumbaga uh, isang araw, itong isang pamilya na to ay inakyat ng mga uh, magnanakaw at murderer. Mayroon silang isang anak na batang lalaki at habang itong mga magnanakaw ay umakyat sa kanilang bahay, nakita niya, nakita niya o na-witness niya na ang kanyang mga magulang ay pinatay ng mga magnanakaw na to. So, habang, habang pinapatay nila yung uh, mga magnanakaw ang magulang niya, siya po ay nakaligtas dahil nagtago po siya sa isang uh, isang lugar na hindi nakita ng mga magdanakaw. So, one day, nung pumunta siya sa school dahil inadapt siya ng mga uh, siguro yung mga uh, mga kapitbahay niya or sa mga ibang mga charity na umukop sa kanya, 
pumasok siya sa isang paaralan at sabi ng isang sabi ng teacher niya pinakita niya sa isang classroom pinakita yung isang uh, newspaper kung saan uh, makikita ng isang uh, picture ni Jesus Christ so pagkakita niya uh, sabi niya sabi niya doon ng teacher tinanong niya kilala niyo ba kung sino ito so di ba sa mga children book stories makikita natin na uh, Sinisignify din ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ang cross o kaya uh, isang picture na nagpapahiwatig na uh, ang ating Panginoon ay uh, buhay at lagi natin sinasa isip at sinasa puso na siya pa rin ang Diyos doon ngayon at magpakailanman. So, to make the long story short, nung pinakita yung teacher sa mga estudyante niya, sabi yung bata na namatayan ng mga magulang, sabi niya, ay, siya yung ano, nakita ko nung time na pinapatay ng magdanakaw ang mama at papa ko. So, di ba, na, napaka, napaka very heartbreaking yung story na yun dahil sa musmus na edad na hindi pa niya alam kung ano yung nangyayari. But, we really praise God that sometimes God allow us, uh, everything happen in our lives for a divine purpose. So, yung batang yon nakilala niya, ang Panginoon, through that uh, worst or the lowest point of his life, the uh, pinakita ng Panginoon yung pagmamahal niya, yung protection niya sa kanyang buhay, despite the uh, challenges, despite the uh, painful experience in his life. So, minsan ganun din po tayo na the deepest uh, part of our worship is when we are in the most lowest point of our life. Naranasan nyo ba mga kapatid na sa puntong talagang low na low na low na low na kayo yung kumbaga napaka kumbaga yung you are uh, kumbaga you are in the desperate situation na talaga na hindi mo na alam kung may kakampi ka pa, hindi mo alam kung mayroon pa nagmamahal sa'yo, hindi mo alam kung uh, ikaw na lang yung wala nang uh, yung kumbaga wala nang umaayon sa iyo yung parang ganun ba na sitwasyon but then uh, we really uh, thank God dahil through his word makikita din natin dito na uh, God is always present so dito sinabi ni uh, Pastor Rick Warren the deepest level of worship is praising God in spite of pain thanking God during a trial trusting him when tempted and surrendering while suffering and loving him when he seems distant. So, nararanasan ba natin lahat na ang ating buhay dumating sa punto talaga na uh, nasasaktan ka na, uh, you are suffering from different kind of kumbaga manubahan ng sakit, or akala mo na pinaparusahan ka na ng Panginoon, or you were being betrayed sa iyong partner, sa iyong asawa, or Inaaway ka ng mga anak mo. Di ba napakasakit po sa uh, buhay ng isang asawa, buhay ng isang magulang, na ito ay nararanasan natin. But uh, sa previous lesson natin, sometimes God allowed those trials and pains, sufferings in our lives to test our faith and to develop or build our faith in Him. So, sin sinabi ni Philip Yansen, Sinabi, any relationship involves times of closeness and times of distance. And in a relationship with God, no matter how intimate, the pendulum will swing from one side to the other. That's when worship gets difficult. So, totoo naman po na sometimes it's the, the lowest point of our life wherein we pour out our deepest worship to the Lord. Dahil dito natin nararanasan yung kanyang banal na presensya. Dito natin binubuhos lahat ng mga uh, sakit sa ating puso, sa ating uh, buhay. Kumbaga, we are being totally, to yung time that we will be totally trusting God over our lives, to work in our lives, and be totally dependent upon His grace upon our lives. So, sinabi din dito, sometimes, why, uh, sometimes God hide Himself from us. O kaya, sometimes, makikita natin, God is missing in action. Kumbaga, He's, uh, kumbaga, He's hiding Himself from us. Nararasa nyo ba yun na, kumbaga, sabi nga, sabi nga ni Saint John of the Cross, ito yung spiritual dryness or the dark night of our soul. Dumadaan ba tayo sa, sa wilderness ng ating spiritual journey na akala mo, 
walang nangyayari. Pray ka ng pray para walang nangyayari. Nagkakaroon ka ng mga, kumbaga, uh, you are being desperate for everything na talaga na uh, kilala pa rin, uh, naalala para kaya ako ng Panginoon. Or sometimes sinasabi mo, nasan kayong Panginoon sa buhay ko? Bakit hindi ko siya maano? Kasi Vincent, umiiral yung uh, damdamin natin kaysa yung pagtitiwala natin sa Panginoon. Di ba? Sabi nga, uh, without faith, we cannot please God. So, ano nga ba yung nag, uh, nalulugod sa ating Panginoon? Ang ating feeling ba o yung ating faith? Di po ba yung faith natin that could please God over our lives? So, patuloy lang mga kapatid. Alam ko, I can relate with you. Kung ngayon dumadaan ka sa matinding pagsubok ng iyong buhay, hayaan mo lang kapatid. Just pour out. Umiyak ka lang sa Panginoon. Pour out your heart to God. Dahil alam ko, God is always there for you. ba? Diba? Sabi nga doon sa footprints in the sun, sabi nga, ng, sabi nga yung uh, uh, nang binatilyo nung time na yun na lumalakad siya doon sa yung, uh, sa dalampasigan sabi niya, nasaan ka Panginoon nung ako ay down na down na sa aking buhay. Ano ang sagot ng Panginoon? Nung tinignan ko, sabi, tinignan ko, sabi niya, yung, uh, yung yapak mo sa buhangin, bakit nag-iisa? Nasaan ka, Panginoon? Tapos sabi ng Panginoon, di mo ba alam, anak, nung, nag, nung time na nasa lowest point of your life, nakita mo nag-iisa lang yung yapak doon sa dalang pasagyan dahil iyon yung time na kalong-kalong nakita. So, yun po mga kapatid, huwag kayong mag-alala when times of trials, pains, and sufferings in our lives, Wag nating sabihin sa ating sarili nag-iisa tayo dahil God says in Hebrew 13 verse 5, God never leave us nor forsake us. Kaya panghawakan natin ang pangako, lahat ng pangako ng Panginoon sa ating buhay dahil ito ang ating magiging sandata in times of trials and in times of pains, in times of temptation. Kasi sometimes the enemy works 24-7, kaya kailangan natin ang ating faith din natin, bantayan natin 24-7 din dahil ito ang ating sandata. Ito ang sandata natin, yung alam natin na ang salita ng Panginoon is very powerful uh, weapon for us to uh, defeat the enemy over our lives and to overcome all those uh, uh, strategies or schemes of the enemy over our lives. So, sinabi doon, sabi nga ni, ni Her Henry Nowen, sabi niya, kung time na akala natin God is seems distant, from our lives, ito yung sinasabi nila, the ministry of our absence. Or sabi naman ni Sir Tosser, <coughs> excuse me, sinabi niya, this is the ministry of the night. So David is also the closest friend of God. <coughs> Di po ba sa previous lesson natin, uh, we are the best friend of God. So, isa doon sa Bible character, wherein God says to him that he is the man, <coughs> a man after God's own heart. So, siya po si King David ng time na yan. Sabi nga niya, sa Psalms 10 verse 1, sabi niya, Lord, why are you standing aloof and far away? Why do you hide when I needed to most? Di po ba? Even David before, naranasan din niya, how much more tayo ngayon? <clears throat> Dahil alam ko na siya pa rin noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. Siya pa rin yung Diyos natin, noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. At sinabi rin sa Psalms, Uh, 22 verse pa, verse 1 sabi, Why do you forsaken me? Why do you remain so distant? Why do you ignore my cries for help? At di, di, ito, ito talaga yung mga uh, pinupour out ni King David nung time na he was being desperate, nung time na yun na siya is down na down. And sinabi rin sa Psalms 43 verse 2, Why have you abandoned me? So dito talaga nakikita natin na God is always there to hear our prayers. He's always there for us. At sinabi rin sa Isaiah 45.15, God admits that sometimes He hides His face from us. So, sinabi rin dito na, Truly, O God of Israel, our Savior, You work in mysterious ways. So, dito natin makita na God works in ways we cannot see. Kaya akala natin, akala natin, hindi, akala natin pinabayaan na tayo ng Panginoon dahil hindi natin nakita. But, He really works in ways we cannot see. And He works in mysterious ways. So, you felt abandoned by God, driven by guilt, but the truth is, there's nothing wrong with you. This is a normal part of the testing and maturing of your friendship with God. So, ito ay nagiging uh, part ng ating uh, development or building up our character and our faith na lalo tayong lubago sa ating spiritual growth with the Lord. 
Uh, dito sinabi, it's a painful and disconnect, disconcerting, but it is absolutely vital for the development of our faith. So, pat patuloy lang tayo na magpasalamat, di ba sabi nga sa, sa Book of Thessalonians, na give thanks in all circumstances because this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. So, every time na makakaranas tayo ng mga pro trials, problems, or uh, any troubles in our lives, Pasalamat lang lagi tayo sa Lord dahil alam natin na God is working in our lives and through our lives. So, ang testimony ni Job, kung kilala nyo si Job sa, sa Bible, nakikita rin natin dito yung life niya, yung life testimony niya in a day talagang, uh, kumbaga, he lost everything. He lost his family, he lost his wealth, he lost his uh, everything na ano sa buhay niya. Talagang, in a... Uh, In a, in a day talagang uh, naubos lahat ng kanyang ari-arian, namatay ang kanyang buong family. At dito natin nakita na despite those pains, despite those trials upon the life of Job, hindi niya hinayaan na ang Panginoon ay mawalay sa kanya. Kundi lalo siyang nagtiwala na nampalataya. At sinabi nga niya doon sa, sa, Job, sa Job 1, Verses 20 to 21, sabi niya, Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. So, dito nakita natin na kinikilala niya na si Lord pa rin ang may control ang lahat sa kanyang buhay. Dahil, sabi niya, binigay lahat ng Panginoon ang mayroon ako pero siya pa rin ang may karapatan na kukuha ang lahat. At kailan, nandun pa rin yung puso ko na nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng kanyang ginawa sa aking buhay. Sana ganun din po tayo mga kapatid, na despite our loss, despite of everything na nangyayari sa ating buhay, uh, especially na in, in the part of our family, in part of relationship, in part of our work, in part of everything that the Lord has given to us. We should acknowledge that everything that we have comes from the Lord. At patuloy tayo magpasalamat, whatever may become, whatever it happen, we should always uh, put in our hearts, in our minds, that God is in control of everything, that everything happened in our lives, there's a divine purpose. So, if po. At sinabi nga sa Psalms 116 verse 10, I believe, so I said, I am comp completely ruined. So, dito rin makikita natin na si King David reveals his deep faith to God. So, yun yung sinabi niya sa Psalm 116 verse 10. At sinabi, he believed in God. He believed God would listen to his prayer. He believed God would let him say what he felt and still loved him. At dito makikita natin na how can we focus on God's presence, especially when he feels distant. Una po, we should focus on who God is, his unchanging nature, his eternal character that he is good all the time. He is always faithful to fulfill all his promises. He cares and loves us unconditionally, unconditionally and has a good plan in our life. So mga kapatid, patuloy natin na i ilagay sa ating puso, sa ating isip, ng ating Panginoon, siya pa rin ang may control ang lahat. And His character is, He is an unchanging God. He is a loving God. He is a faithful God. And He knows everything happens, every details of our lives. At sinabi nga ni, Re ni Sir Raymond Edmund, sabi niya, Never doubt in the dark what God told you in the light. So, napakaganda po. Pagtingnan natin talaga yung buhay ni Job at ni David, despite those pains, sufferings, and trials, challenges in their lives, nagkaroon pa rin sila ng pusong uh, mapagpasalamat, puso na mapagpuri uh, sa ating Panginoon. So, God is good and loving, and God is all-powerful. He knows every details of our lives and He has a great plan upon your life and He saved our lives. So, pangalawa po, how can we focus in God's presence, especially when He feels distant? Trust God to keep His promises. So, dito makikita natin na God 
is always faithful to fulfill all his promises over our lives. So don't be troubled by trouble. So wag mong isipin yung problema kapatid. Hayaan mo, continue to magnify the Lord over your problem dahil mas malaki ang Panginoon kaysa yung problema mo. Kagaya ni David, di po ba? Kahit malaki yung giant sa kanyang buhay, he is uh he is confident na matatalo niya si Goliat dahil alam niya nakasama niya ang ating Panginoon. So ganun din po tayo. We, we can overcome every obstacles, every troubles, every pains in our lives. We can overcome it only through the grace of God upon our lives. At huwag nating hayaan na God always fulfill all His promises over our lives. Hayaan natin na ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, through the power of the Holy Spirit, will work over our lives and through the lives of others, through us, for the glory of God and His honor. At dito natin makikita na sa buhay ni Job at ni David, they had overcome everything at naging victorious sila dahil alam nila kung sino ang Panginoon sa kanilang mga buhay. At third, remember what God has already done for you. The greatest reason for worship is what Jesus Christ has done for us. Kapag balikan natin yung ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay. ba diba sinabi sa John 3.16, For God's love the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Kung balikan natin yung ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, nung time nandun siya, na kinukot siya siya, pinako siya sa krus, hanggang siya namatay siya doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. It's because of the great, great love of God towards mankind. At isa ka na rin doon, kapatid, kasama rin tayo lahat doon, na inako niya na lahat, na dapat na tayo yung maparusahan, dahil tayo ang nagkasala, pero because of His grace, because of His mercy, because of His love, ang Panginoon na matay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, para iligtas ka at iligtas tayo lahat, mga kapatid. Tandaan natin, napakalaking bagay na ito ay ating pasalamatan araw-araw sa ating buhay. Yung maliit lang na naranasan natin ay parang katiting lang ng naranasan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo nung time na siya ay nandun na sa krus ng Kalbaryo, nung time na inako niya na lahat ng ating kasalanan, sinabi pa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanyang ama, sabi niya, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This the time na talaga na lahat na ng kasalanan natin noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman, inako na lahat ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya ito yung ilagay natin sa ating puso, sa ating isip, araw-araw, habang tayo ay nabubuhay that Jesus Christ died for you and me for us to have an eternal life. Kaya kapatid, huwag nating hayaan that the joy of our salvation ay nakawin ng kaaway sa ating buhay. Dahil you are viable in the eyes of God. May magandang plano ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay, kapatid. Huwag mong hayaan na yung problema ay madaig ka. Huwag mong hayaan na yung sakit ay matalo ka. Huwag mong hayaan na yung uh, mga pagsubok sa buhay ay magiging talunan ka. Kundi, you should raise up and believe, surrender your life unto God that Jesus Christ alone is the only God, our Savior, over our lives. Kaya, ka, ka, every time na mararanasan mo yung mga hirap sa buhay, kapatid, huwag mong sabihin na pinabayaan ka ng Panginoon. Siguro, sometimes, God allowed the pain, the trial over our lives para lalo natin makilala siya ng gusto sa ating buhay and He will continue to develop our character like uh that we will reflect Christ like this over our lives. Kaya, uh, kailangan natin na patuloy lang tayo, kapatid, na magtiwala, mag-focus sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo that Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. So, Jesus Christ gave up everything so we could have everything. He died so we could live forever. That alone, He is worthy of our continual thanks and praise to Him alone. Sinabi nga sa 2 Corinthians 5.21, 
Christ was without sin, but for our sake, God made him share our sin in order that in union with him, we must share the righteousness of God. So, yun po mga patid, God is real no matter how you feel. So, ano man yung mga uh, pinagdadaanan mo na ngayon sa oras na to, kapatid, alalahanin mo, always remember that God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Hindi ka niya iwanan, hindi ka niya pababayaan. So, ang tanong natin sa ating sarili, how can I stay focused on God's presence, especially when it feels distant in your life? Mga kapatid, I hope and pray that the Lord speak unto your heart that today, from this day on forward, we will continue to know Him more and more over our lives as we grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us pray. Panginoong Ama, makapangyarihan sa lahat, pinupuri ka namin, pinapasalamatan sa lahat ng ginawa mo at gagawin mo pa sa aming buhay. Alam ko, Panginoon, na minsan nagkukulang kami sa iyo, minsan nag nagkakaroon kami ng doubt sa aming mga puso, minsan kami ay nag-worry sa mga bagay na nangyayari sa aming buhay. Patawarin mo kami, Panginoon. And we thank you, God, because you promise in your word na hindi mo kami pababayan, hindi mo kami iiwanan. We thank you, Father, for that promise. And we pray right now, especially my brothers and sisters who are experiencing great challenges over their lives, continue to strengthen their faith in you, that they will put their total trust and confidence unto you alone, Lord Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. We thank you even with our trials, our pains, because it is when the time that you will continue to mold our character, our behavior, our attitude to become the person that you want us to become according to your will and purpose over our lives. We thank you, Father, for your word today. We do believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things over our lives, over our children, over our marriage lives, over our work, over our businesses, over our health. And even, Lord, we pray for all those people especially the street children, the orphans, the widows, the aged people, those who are being confined in the hospitals, those who are suffering with different kinds of sickness. We pray, O oh God, continue to visit, the, visit them, O oh Lord. Continue to touch their lives once again with your healing touch, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, O oh God. We do believe by faith that you are a God who is always faithful to fulfill all your promises over our lives. We thank you, Father, that you gave your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, resurrected from the dead, for us to have an eternal life. Today, Father, continue to put in our hearts, in our minds, that apart from you, we are nothing but in your glorious presence. We can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. And even, Lord, we pray for all the church leaders, pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, and teachers. Continue to anoint them mightily with the anointing oil that comes from your throne. As you empower them with your Holy Spirit, continue, Father, to speak unto their hearts, to minister to your people with love, with joy, with peace and righteousness. We even pray, Father, for all the government officials from the highest to the lowest position in every locality throughout the whole nation of the Philippines and throughout the whole world. I pray, Father, continue to put in their hearts their reverential fear unto you, that they may come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior in their lives, that they will govern your people with love, joy, peace, and righteousness. We thank you, Father, for everything that you've done in every lives, in every country and every locality of God. We thank you, Father, that you are in control of everything. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you work in us and through us. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness, your goodness, and your faithfulness over our lives. And to you alone we give our highest praises, highest honor, glory, and thanksgiving. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. So, thank you mga kapatid. God bless. Have a good day. God loves you. Bye!
Thank you. 